With the rope of campaign finance violations tightening around Michael Cohen's clammy neck, Democrats are now salivating at the real prospect of impeachable offenses buried in Robert Mueller's unfinished screed. If the president directed his dumb, scummy lawyer to funnel hush money to whores, and that's in clear violation of federal election laws, and Michael Cohen is going up the river for three years, well, the president must be even guiltier, and that means Hillary is finally president. Yes. There are two things I know with utter certainty. One, the president is a magnet for questionable characters who are slimier than a bag of snakes in a mucus pool. And two, impeachment would be the best thing for him. Democrats are being incredibly short-sighted on this issue because it's been obvious from November 8, 2016, all they want to do is undo the election. They finally have the House majority, and they want to blow their political capital on a gamble that will only pay off for the guy they're trying to screw over. Bill Clinton reached his popularity zenith right after the House voted to impeach him, and he left office with an enviable 65% approval rating. The same political boomerang is going to hit Democrats where they least expect it in the political jugular when the president receives a bump at the worst possible time right before the 2020 election. As Trump, Pelosi, and Schumer fought like uh, three weasels in heat yesterday, Vice President Pence sat with an angelic smile on his face, knowing he doesn't have to get any blood on his collar to benefit from this needless coup. If Trump is impeached, well, his ratings will go up and he's easily reelected if he's not removed by the Senate. And if he is unseated, it's a boost for Republicans as stable and steady President Pence rocks his party back to peaceful prosperity. Uh, either way, Democrats lose as the poorly war-gamed revenge fantasy turns into a nightmare. Wake up, people. And that's the memo.